plaintiff, Wendy Leon, was raised in a tough neighborhood, and she grew up around violence and drugs. Wendy claims the defendant, who was her aunt, helped raise her, and she also helped Wendy raise her son, but she's suing her today for selling her car without permission. Defendant Doris Leon says although Wendy was a little fast growing up, she was a good girl who finished school. Doris claims the car in question was a lemon and she had no choice but to get rid of it because she couldn't keep up with the maintenance. I'll start with you. Okay, Your Honor, um, I wanna say uh, coming up as a young lady, uh, I went through some uh, tough signs and uh, I had through the Chicago, coming up in, uh, you know, the violence and drugs and everything or whatever I've experienced. Which section of Chicago? South Side. And uh, I've experienced, you know, uh, through the, the drugs and stuff and everything, seeing the Which things. part of South Side, though? Southeast Side, near, like, Chatham area okay. or, you know, further east. Because, yeah, so, people try and... You know, when they use the word South Side Chicago is a tough neighborhood. Nah, it's not true. They got multi million dollar homes in, uh, yeah, yeah. in the South Side. President Obama live on the South Side. Yeah. Jesse yeah. Jackson live on the South Side. <laughs> I promise you, they don't live in the ghetto. <laughs> For all you listeners and viewers who think South Side of Chicago is all because it's African American predominantly, you think it right. might be predominantly poor. No, it's not. Large middle class. Yes. But you, unfortunately, you lived in an area that was crime and probably drug ridden as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Defendant Doris Leon is being sued by her niece, who claims Doris revealed a family secret to her father and broke her trust. And go ahead. My aunt, she was also helping uh, raising me and uh, with, along with my grandmother. And I also used uh, my talent as an outlet to where that I was uh, a writer. I kept journals. Yeah. And uh, when I kept journals, I had maybe about six notebooks full. Six notebooks? Six notebooks From what full. age? Up until the age I was to 19. Starting at what age? I was maybe around 12. Okay. And then after uh, over a period of time, uh, I had met someone, a friend of mine, that helped me publish my book here, which is The Pain of My Truth. Okay. And this was an outlet to where that, you know, it was just um, based upon uh, to help me get through some of the situations and everything that I've experienced, just as well as other young women who went through some of the things and some of the friends that I've also have grown up with. I put their stories in here as well. And then with my aunt, uh, help raising me as along with my grandmother, she moved away, and uh, she when she moved away to Ohio, uh, she came back uh, maybe about I want to say about 2017, something like that, or whatever. And when she came back, I had a son who she helped me raise, in okay. a sense. And then also I was in a process of getting another car. And she needed transportation service to get around at that time. Is that time. what we're here about today? So yeah. Let me allow her to give some background on you all's relationship or your childhoods. Ma'am? Hey, Your, your Honor, um, that is my niece, my baby niece out of all 14 of them. Um, I did help raise her. Um, my sister was too busy working, so she wasn't able to do it. So me and my mom took over that. Um, she's a good girl. She was a little fast growing up, but I got that under control before I moved away. And um, she did good by not getting pregnant at an early age. She waited till she was grown to start having kids, finish school and everything good. like that. But basically, we get along pretty good. We're good. It's just this car situation. <laughs> good. Well, congratulations and thank you for stepping in. When, yes. Uh, when yes. Yes. All right. And tell me what happened here with the property you're suing about, the it's 1800. So <laughs> Rihanna, back in July of uh, last year, I gave my aunt uh, the car. I loaned her the car and uh, made her sign a promissory note. Oh. It was due to the reason that she um, had revealed, when she moved back, she had revealed the family secret, stating to where that um, my father, uh, she told my father that I wasn't his daughter. And that kind of lost my trust 
I kind of broke my trust and everything. He but, told your father. Yeah, she told my father that I was not his daughter. Well, it was a family secret. And oh, the, the so secret. it was true. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was true. Was yeah, yeah, That's yeah. That's what secrets are. Yeah. So it came out to where that, you know, my dad wasn't my real dad. And come to find out, it was supposed to have been some other guy that was supposed to have been my dad. So she broke my trust from there. And Why? It, because... I didn't appreciate the fact that, you know, it's for us to mess up at how old are you? Excuse me, if you don't mind me asking, you're in your 30s, 40s or what? I'm 42. All right, so she wait till 42 to bring this mess up. <laughs> yes, <Perhaps that's> exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Correct. And it was kind of hurtful and everything, you know, and it was uh, hurtful towards my dad in, mm. in a sense, you know. So then, therefore, once she broke my trust, I sit up here and I forgave her for it, you know, and, you know, we kind of got through things <clears throat> in a sense. But then again, when I, uh, when she needed transportation to get around throughout the city, I may have signed a promissory note. Defendant Therese Leon is being sued by her niece, who claims Therese revealed a family secret to her father and broke her trust. And what happened that caused you to sue her? I gave her the 2006 Ford Taurus. Taurus and, for yeah. how much? No, I, lo I loaned it to her. To, uh, yeah, I loaned it to her, and I told her it was not a gift. And I uh, made her to sign a promissory note. If you look. Okay, let me hear from her. Let her tell me what happened here. She did, Your Honor. She let me use the car. Um, I had some situations uh, due to COVID. I lost my job. They still haven't reopened. I had a couple of surgeries during COVID. Um, I didn't have the monies to take care of the vehicle. I asked my niece to help me. She wasn't able. I didn't want to, c c uh, to continue to sit accumulating parking tickets. I didn't have no help to get it fixed. My nephew told me the head gasket had blown. So I had to get it junk because I was accumulating parking tickets on it. Did you tell her before getting it junk? Yes. That that's what you would do? Well, excuse me, may I back up a little mm -hmm. bit? Uh, I had posted it on Craigslist. Before I knew anything was wrong you with it. You posted her car on Craig's? Yeah, before I knew anything. sell her car? Yeah. Did you tell her you were selling her car? Not so much as telling okay. her. Not Damn, right are away. Are you on drugs or something? No, I'm not, Your okay. Honor. No, That's no. a dope fiend move. No, no, no. That's a crackhead move, No, fact. no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I mean... You borrow I mean, somebody's car and you put it on Craigslist to sell it. That's exactly what that is. Gonna... Only a dope fiend does that. Only a crackhead does that. So please tell me you are. <laughs> Otherwise, we got to look at you like perhaps you need to be institutionalized. No. Either prison or the crazy house. No, you are Borrow somebody's car and then put it up for sale on Craigslist and then sit there like it ain't nothing to it. May I explain that? Yeah. Take I told her. No, take I, your best I, shot. What I was going to do, we were going to split the money. You told me you didn't tell her. No, I said I was going when I was going to tell her. She the same day I put it on Craigslist, she found out, and I said, "Well, we was going to split." I was telling her we were going to split the money. Now you're giving me some dope fiend story. No, Your Honor, Man. I don't mean it like that. Has she been on that. drugs or something no. before? I used to drink, Your Honor. I don't know. I, okay. She was gone for years. No, so drinking don't do that to you. No, Your Honor. Uh, okay, so no, I'm just no. trying to no, find out. No. Judgment for the plaintiff. You insulted me now. You insulted uh, my telling. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I didn't mean you, it. You were going to tell her after you put it up that they were going to split the money. Put this woman's car up for sale and she loaned it to you. And then you put it up for sale, and then because it don't run right, you have it junked. You don't take it back to her and let her junk it. You junk it. Horrible. That's horrible. Thank you. Have a good day. Judging All for right. the plaintiff. Thank, Thank you. Seriously? I love you. You know I love you. you know I know, I but you could have told me. You, that, that's not we right. We gonna get past it like we have gotten past a whole lot of other things. You my baby niece. You know I love you. Can I get a hug? Really, Auntie? Never let me force you. I know, but still, you that's, that's it's not okay. Right. We got past worse things than this. No, I, I let you get past. <laughs> okay, I let you get past worse things than this yeah, with me. Okay. We didn't. I didn't bring you to court. Mm -hmm. But I have to bring you to court. Look what you, you didn't did. have to. Yeah. I could have. But look what you did. But look where we at. And I you love shouldn't you. be like this. I love you. Yeah. I love the baby. Have a good day.